Hello viewers, today we're going to create a report uh, which is uh, dynamically conditioned. The idea is that we will provide, we will create a report based on the the conditions that we provide from the from the form on the fly. That is, uh, we're going to change the wire clause dynamically in our report. This is how it will look. We're going to uh, create the report based on the uh, either report by the department or report by employee name or by all so uh, depending on this if i do this the uh, see, uh, we, we have to mention the department name if we select report by employee name we have to uh, provide the name and if we select all then all the data will be available in the report and when I uh, click the submit button, this report will be shown. So our parameter is ready. We are now going to create the report. Region, create a region. It's the report region. Classic report. So we are going to name this as a dynamic report you see we're gonna create a plsql here let's do a simple report first declare v query worker to uh, 200 to 500 500 begin end v v query equal to select em voice employee o employee id salary from employees okay so return require next Now we will run. This is a simple report. We will run it. This is the output. So, uh, what we have done is we have created a report based on a PLSQL which returns a query itself. Now we will make it conditional. We, we have we are gonna incl include some more pyramid uh, more columns in the see we're gonna change here it will be so here what we have done is we have just this is a this is a string this is a query string and we are returning the query string now we're gonna see what happens in this query now run okay now we see employee id salary first name last name now uh, include the department also now it's include the department id department id Okay, then run it. Okay. Now we're gonna change the query based on our input, and the same query will uh, once it will show the uh, results based on our department, and then in the same report it will show the uh, employee list 
based on our last time here. Okay. Now we're gonna make changes in our PLS curl. Now we're gonna take some V select to five hundred V select V higher uh V higher also five hundred then Now let's now let's uh, divide the query into sub sections like V V select say so this is the select part of the query. Now this one is unchanged. Okay, now the the change we'll do will be based on our selection criteria. And now, if P nine option equal to D means if the department is selected, then then v query equal to v higher v higher equal to higher department id equal to colon concatenated P nine department. Okay. Now if is equal to N so that name higher now you see we have now we have uh, v higher equal to this it will be like p9 let's make a change here p sorry p9 name okay so this means if i uh, choose the option for name wise query then it will uh, it will make the heart of like this and if if p9 option is equal to a that means all then then v higher v higher V higher is equal to this and this. Okay. Now our final moment. Now we will make the query like this. Now V query is equal to 
is equal to we select control we select concatenated we select concat b higher okay stroke c control d okay now return v query now let's apply changes let's see what happens okay now run it now if i report by department submit let's see what happens okay so our report is working okay this marketing now we're going to change it to finance submit yes okay now we are going to change the option here and it will be king for example say it is king now if i submit what happens see last name is king those are the steven now let's make a query now if i here all if i select the all and then submit what happens you see all the records are here so our dynamic query report is complete the dynamic query is nothing but a report where the uh, we change our where clause based on our you input you see uh, if i choose uh, the department name then and then submit then it shows the only those data of this department and if i choose name then if i choose like this then only last name of yes you see last name and last name is same now this data is coming and if i choose all then all the records are here this feature of apex is a very very powerful feature you know in cases where you provide access to a report to all the users but you control the data you filter the data based on the user in that case you need this kind of rip so this is very important i think you will uh, find this very useful for your uh, daily development so thank you for watching thank you everybody